everything. You know, when I was a child, my mother was playing over and over jazz music. When she was sad, one day I asked her what it is because she was really obsessed by these records and she said it's bebop. And I, I, I was seeing her very happy when she was listening to this music. To me, it wasn't really meaning anything. Melodies, like with the voice, they were creating scat. And I thought it was bebop, B-I-B-O-P. It was not, but I didn't know it. And so it remained bebop. Imagine to have a capsule full of people. You bring this capsule inside the tube, you evacuate the tube from the air so there's no resistance. Now you can move this capsule at almost the speed of sound and more with no friction and using very few energy. This is magic and we can build it right now. Give me a land and I will build it right now. 38 months, you have the first passenger. We are disrupting right now 11 industries and we are innovating everything from the moment you are at home and you push a button. The moment that self-driving car picks you up, bring you to the local hyperloop station, then you are shoot into the... Uh, my, my PR team never say shoot. We are shooting people inside the capsule to the main station and this rich capsule into the main station bring you to destination. Imagine Bangalore to Pune in half an hour. You can take an Ipel of two, three times a day. You can live in Pune and work in Bombay. We are in negotiation in 20 countries. We're actually negotiating also with India. Okay. I met Modi okay. in Silicon Valley. I met uh, your uh, Ministry of Transport. I think he's the Ministry of Transport. You need to confirm it. And now I, have, I need to also double check what they say. Okay. Gagdari. 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 He's Gagdari. the minister. Yeah, he's yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> After meeting me, and offering me the land, he went public saying that he met Elon Musk. And I said, unfortunately, not Elon Musk. <laughs> <laughs> he was blessed. Then he apologized and said, I was confused about the two or whatever. <laughs> but anyway, it was funny. But the, the, the reality is that we are now discussing and we sent a proposal okay. and we're talking about a couple of routes. So there is actually a proposal on the table of Gagdari. <laughs> so if you don't have an hyperloop, you know, to <laughs> when I was standing in front of your politicians, I saw people that really want to change. They really care about you guys. The coolest thing about Hyperloop is that it's a movement right now. We did it without raising a penny, by putting together the best minds in this planet. What we are doing and what we did is to ask humanity, please join our team and we will give you in exchange stock options. They have to work at least 10 hours a week and everybody can join the team. I'm working with people that were in the Manhattan project with Einstein. Okay. We have people from uh, the, the Apollo mission, uh, people from NASA, Tesla, SpaceX, Boeing, Aerospace, Lockheed Martin, MIT, Stanford. It's incredible. Humanizing transportation means also not solving one problem and creating another 10. Because you can't only think about, you know, oh, there's a, 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 a tube with a capsule. Now you have to start to think, okay, let's, let's build something that doesn't disrupt the land, allow animals to migrate. Let's look on how to collect dew from the water and give it back to the farmers. I can give them bandwidth because they need connections. We can create mesh nets from all along the line. And it's not because we want to do uh, want to solve all the problem of humanity, but because we have the technology and we can embed it. Why not to do it? Why don't to create it in a way that also, I don't know, I can have a, a, a running bicycle path on top. It's not difficult. We have the technology and the solar panel. So what I'm saying is that if you start to think and embedding this concept at the beginning, then you don't end up with the crap that we have right now. Don't believe what my generation told them and created. It's broken. These kids need to fix it. And believe in yourself and give a finger to everybody says it's not doable. Be stubborn.